So some of you may have, may know that I got into printing uh, images, photographs, whatever you want to call them, last year. And I bought the Canon Pro 100 because it was relatively inexpensive. Uh, I think I paid less than 300 Canadian dollars for it, which is a great deal because it's still going for like 399 Canadian. I bought a pack of the 13 by 19 Canon Pro Luster paper, and I've been using that, and I still have probably more than half my sheets left. But recently, I came across a deal on like a Craigslist type deal where someone had uh, 10 boxes of luster paper, but not by Canon, by Epson. This is what they had, and I had messaged them and I said, look, I want to, um, I want to buy a box, I want to test it out on my printer, and if it works out, you know, I'll buy more. Apparently they had, at the time, 10 of these. So I just picked this up, and I wanted to run some tests to see if it was uh, equal to, or better, or worse than the OEM Canon paper. So I will show you guys what happened. Uh, let's just get down to brass tacks here. Canon OEM Pro Luster on the Canon Pro 100, which should have better results than the Epson paper. But let's take a look. The first thing I noticed when I opened the box of the Epson paper was it was a little bit thinner than the Canon OEM Pro Luster. So the, this, is, um, this is Epson pre, uh, Ultra Premium Photo Paper Luster. My first observation when I took the Epson paper out of the box was that uh, it felt a little bit uh, thinner, like maybe it had a, it's not as, <clears throat> it's not the same weight and just felt a little bit thinner than the Canon paper, but upon inspection it looked, it looked pretty much almost identical to it before anything was printed on it. So I have uh, two sheets here, one is the Epson, one is the Canon, and what I did was I printed an image that I took recently and I just applied the Canon, excuse me, the Canon Pro Luster uh, printing profile to it, and I received this print. And upon inspection, it looks pretty good. It didn't, doesn't look exactly like, I mean, it looks very, very, very close. It doesn't look exactly like the Canon uh, printed sheet for a couple of reasons, one being that um, I just noticed that uh, the original image or the Canon printed image has more of a sort of a, a sort of a, ca a I don't know, like a yellowy tinge to it, and that actually is representative of how that building uh, did look when I was taking that photo. So um, what I did was I printed uh, an Epson using Canon Pro Luster Profile and Canon here. And there are some differences. They're pretty subtle. Um, if you weren't at the original location to know what that building looked like or what that graffiti art looked like, um, it would be definitely, sorry about the lighting. It would, it would be definitely hard to tell. You, wouldn't, you could never tell, um, obviously. So let me just hold up a couple of differences that I see. Other than the, than the paper being a little bit lighter um, in weight, physical weight, it also prints a bit lighter. It's not going to show up on um, on the camera, I'm pretty sure. They're pretty close. I'd say it's probably within 10%. They're within 10% of one another, but the Canon uh, paper using the OEM profile does look, does reproduce the best results. And it does match closest to what I'm seeing on my monitor, which is also calibrated by the Color Monkey. So, Color Monkey calibrated monitor, and uh, Canon Pro Luster paper, Canon Pro Luster profile produces the closest print. It's definitely a runner-up. The Epson is pretty close. I'd say it's, it's, yeah, it's within 90 to 95 percent. It just, the colors come out a little bit lighter on the Epson paper. You can't tell through the video, but this, uh, this brickwork here is a little bit on the lighter side, where it should be a little bit on, on the deeper side. It's just a, just a tad though, and up here there's sort of like yellowy, yellow cast uh, where the concrete sort of has fallen off. Um, it has like a, a little bit of a deep yellow grungy tinge, and that is more apparent in the Canon, on the Canon paper. 
using the same profile. So this is Beats, this is number one. The Epson paper's number two. But I said, but then I was, I was saying, hey, wait a second, I have a Color Monkey photo, so why don't I just create a custom profile with the Epson paper, and then that should give me great results. So let me show you what happened there. I went through the uh, Color Monkey wizard, and I created a printer profile, which produced a color profile that I chose in Lightroom and selected when I printed on the Epson paper, and I got this. Now, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but this is not an accurate reproduction. So I went through the whole thing where you scan the color charts, the two color charts on the Color Monkey, loaded the profile, printed this, and if you look at this versus this, non-color monkey OEM profile you will notice a big difference the first difference being look at look at this color here on the top it's like purple and on the bottom it's way more blue I don't know what happened there um, also, the brick is a much more of a saturated, unrealistic red here, where on the original, let me just show you here if I bring it in closer, let me just do this. So look at that, bottom one, color monkey profile, totally not accurate at all. Top one, OEM Canon with profile. And then if you come over here and you look at the paint, this is like blue and this is purple. So then I said, okay, that was the custom profile on the Epson paper. Let me use the custom profile that I made a few days ago, which I've never used with Canon paper. The result is pretty much identical to the Epson Color Monkey profile result, which is the complete, which is the inaccurate representation of these colors. So again, these two are like blue, and they should be purple, and the brick is really saturated red. I'll bring here an original one over here without the Color Monkey profile. It's gonna be hard for me to hold three in a row. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Let me see if I can do it though. Let's see if I can do something like that. Correct. Color monkey profile, color monkey profile. These two are blue, this is purple. In conclusion, uh, the Epson paper what I, what I really want to do, and I'm going to, ask, um, I'm going to ask the expert, Jose Rodriguez, on this, is what happened with the Color Monkey profiling of the paper. Um, the closest match to my monitor was the Canon paper with the Pro Luster, OEM Pro Luster profile. I'm just wondering what happened with the Color Monkey profile. It's completely off. It got the colors completely... Uh, messed up. I don't know, was that because I didn't scan them properly? All the bars uh, told me I could advance to the next bar, so I assumed that everything was okay. Um, I don't know. But the Epson paper is pretty decent. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to download the, I'm going to try to download the Epson OEM profile. Uh, Epson Luster profile and try printing with that to see if I get a result closer to the Canon OEM or Based on that result, I should know that it's just these papers are a little they're, they're just different enough to produce a slight difference um, But uh, but uh, overall the Epson paper is pretty good. I would definitely use it Like I said if you were if you weren't at the location or if you didn't have a reference monitor to compare the print to the monitor, uh, you would never know and it would look pretty natural. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more of that Epson paper. Uh, I'm not sure at this point. Anyways, I'm gonna pass it off to some experts on the internet and hopefully I'll get some responses and we can move forward from there. Uh, thanks for watching.
Okay, so just a footnote to the video as well. I did end up downloading the Precision Colors uh, ICC profile for um, Canon Pro Luster paper, and I did print off one of those. And that actually came out, um, sorry, I'm using a different camera. I'm not gonna show you the details, but that actually came out very close to the original OEM Canon uh, Pro Luster. But I still do think that the OEM Pro Luster IECC profile and the paper and this printer look the best. Thanks.